Hello, everybody. How is it going? It's Celestial Lions. I'm Patrick. I'm Jason. And we're Celestial Lions. We're bringing you Platformia today. And Jason, what is Platformia? Platformia is, of course, a platformer. Uh, but we started out trying to make something similar to Celeste. But Celeste has a lot more emotional and heavy topics to deal with. So we took that part of Celeste out of it, and we left the happy climbing a mountain achievement that we have here. Your character is meant to go through this beautiful world, and he's supposed to just be exploring. He's trying to train to become a knight, and the world's just full of beautiful things that keep you relaxed. You shouldn't get too frustrated when you pick it up and put it down. You should just have a nice time playing it. So the gameplay is a little more than just leaping from platform to platform, as we stated. It's got a couple of mechanics. We got a dash, a little nifty thing that keeps us from not making quite a far jump and missing the ledge. We also have what we know as boost orbs or rings. It gets us to jump around and boost around. Gets us to new heights, as we like to call it. And last but not least, there are portals and curses. These uh. These are really interesting and change the gameplay in certain ways to make it more challenging. Not too much more challenging, but enough to give you a little thrill. So what techniques and processes did work for you? Well, I actually was very comfortable with the scripting. Connecting, making things work how they're supposed to work with the pins and nodes in Unreal. I was able to do that easily because I've been doing it for two years at this point. Thanks. What about you, Patrick? What didn't work for you? What didn't work for me? Um, I would have to say some of the conflicts with using the 3D character as the 2D side scroll might be mm -hmm. our biggest kind of, uh, cause it's, it's giving us a big issue with the actual player character. Other than that, I think the processes that did work was the fact that we kept solid communication and, as you said, the UI for coding in Unreal is just intuitive. So either way, I think the last thing on the note would be to list the skills that you've learned and found most useful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would say... Communication. Uh, even though it's not like one of the main skills that we need as designers to actually design a game hard coding, it is something that we need as designers to succeed in our field. Would be yeah. the skill that I've learned. Oh, I have. I could, I could list out a, a list of skills if you want. Bam, go for it. Let's see. Yeah. But, uh, we got communication. We have integration. We have uh, animation and material making. Um, what else? There's one more thing. I want to have five. Five's a good round number. Um, working with 2D assets. There you go. So my one was communication. I'll say two would have to be the language of Unreal and learning what nodes properly, like the launch character node is much more than a uh, just launch character. You can use it to launch anything yeah. that you need to launch in the uh, in the actual air. Um, the fall animation, which we didn't quite get to fully work, but it's there when it wants to work sometimes. I've seen it like come through. The animations on that were really something that we picked up and started working with better as it went along. Which you can see in the videos as we go along, the animation gets smoother for our run and stuff like that. And I would guess that the last one would have to be collaboration. The collaboration with our artist right now, uh, Tim, fantastic. We're, yeah. we're loving the results that we're getting right here. So on that note, probably rambled on a tad too long. This is Celestial Lions signing off.